talk a little bit today about effective mentoring. I know that it's easy to think that mentoring is just a matter of, of pairing off people, a person who has experience with a person who has no experience, and together they make this great team and everybody knows what they mesh perfectly and everybody's happy and it means that there's experience transfer, life lessons, and that um, suddenly that the, there's, a, there's trust and actual, actual um, outcome. Well, maybe that works, and it can, but if you have 100 mentor pairs, men mentors and mentorees, and you have uh, just getting together and scheduled things, if that's all you're doing is getting together and, and talking to each other, and showing the ropes or whatever about some kind of process or or corporation, et cetera, or you're just going out to lunch, you might have a friendship, but 90% of the time you will not have anything that's, that's actually uh, measurable or, or there's no way to, to assess how effective your mentor program was. So, I think this is a great opportunity to implement situated learning in a mentor program and actually have a project that you work on together, have some sort of outcome so that the mentor works with the mentee and then they can actually get together, do the things together, and you have a, a, a goal, a learning objective, <laughs> a measurable outcome. You can do goal setting. You can reward yourself. It, it, it can be motivating. <laughs> All these things suddenly come together in a, in a mentorship program. It's just a matter of, of planning and structuring. So I'm, I'm hopefully that will help you as you put together mentor programs, especially if you're looking at high volume, a large number of mentor teams. It, it, this is a way to go to, from ineffectual to 95 to 98% to effective. And plus people will be happy. <laughs> That's always good. <laughs>